Hey guys, right here, I'm going to be attempting to install macOS 10.4 Tiger on an iBook G4, 933 MHz and 640 MB of RAM. Now, the, the, the reason why I have this cover closed is because um, I was just replacing the hot drive, which is the one here on the IBM. The original hot drive, which was a Fujitsu hot drive, just kicked the bucket. And um, I actually opened up the Cybook G4, and as you probably know, it is one of the most difficult laptop to um, replace the hard drive. I also want to deal with the um, top, the top part of this uh, laptop, which actually has a lot of these broken screw holes. The screws tend off. A lot of them are broken. Like there's a lot of them. Like almost every screw stock has been broken. So. I need to take care of that um, with maybe some kind of like an epoxy or some kind of like a, a hot glue or any kind of super glue that may work to fix those. Alright, so now I just have the keyboard and I just plug in a USB mouse and also you may notice that this long USB stick. I actually built it Mac OS 10.4 from uh, from a USB stick. I don't use the disk drive because the disk drive only supports CD-ROM and at this point of time in the quarantine it's really hard to get um, some CD recorderable disks because they're not usually sold in essential stores. So right now um, I already have it booted up. I, I really don't want to go through the process of trying to boot from the USB because of um, using the open firmware is a little bit complicated and this is actually the first time I'm actually able to get into this uh, screen setup. All this while I was just stuck at the Apple logo and I really don't want to go through the trouble of going back to the setup. And also you may notice that the screen also is not really in the best condition, seen better days. Well at least it's readable for me but I don't plan on replacing it because spare parts for these iBooks are really hard to find in my country. Uh, I really hope you don't mind that. So I've tilted up my camera. Let's start it up. So we're going to use English as the main language. Alright, and click continue. Agree. Okay, I think um, I need to do something else first. I have to go to the disk utility. My bad. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so here's the disk, and um, originally this uh, this IBM hard drive is actually a Windows 2000 um, laptop that I actually had before. So I don't know if I could split that. Revert, uh, yeah, uh, it looks like I just have to wipe the whole disk. So, Mac OS Extended Journal, and then I haven't really, uh, oh, here it is. So, Mac OS Extended, Erase, and Erase. And as you can see, this hard drive is pretty loud. And I could have just put an, a uh, compact, fla compact flash uh, kind of solid state or any kind of SSD or any little hard drive. But I don't have any of those at the moment. And like I said, it's now COVID-19, you're supposed to stay at home. And that's all I got. I only got this IBM Travel Star hard drive. And the thing is that that laptop um, actually had this screen broken, worse condition than this one. So I figured, well, why not just use this IBM hard drive? All right, so now um, the hard drive is already has been, um, it already has been wiped to Mac OS um, partition. And yep, I can just go back here and I'll be installing on this 30 gigabyte hard drive. So, I wonder if I could customize. Oh, there's even X11. I don't know. Maybe it's not really required, but I know it's something to do with X Windows system. 
Right, so it's going to be preparing the disk. While I am at it, I will show you the original hot drive. This is the original hot drive. As you can see, there's the Apple logo sticker, and it's a Fujitsu. For whatever reason, can't ever get this hot drive to boot. It's just the bucket. Well, that's what you expect on the older drives. In fact, I actually, uh, I can uh, predict that this IBM hot drive probably won't last even longer, but this is what I only have so far, and I really want to mess around with uh, PowerPC Max. So this is going to take a while. Alright, so it's gonna almost, it's almost gonna finish and for whatever reason my video is starting acting up. Probably because my Nexus 6P is optimized for 60Hz electricity but the lighting in my house uses 50Hz and there's no anti-banding settings. Oh, here we go. So let's go hit restart and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, this is probably not the I just want to shut down this thing, but I don't want to pull all the power. Actually, you know what? I'll just pull all the power. <laughs> and I'm going to put back the top cover so I can actually have the speaker on. Alright, so let's go ahead. I put, I already put back the top cover and let's just short the power button connector. Oops. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't want to assemble this thing yet because there's so many things broken over on the stop cover. But all I want to do is I just want to hear the sounds. So now start putting from the hard, hard drive. You can hear it crunching away already. Maybe I'll have to put it up to the left and for some reason it stopped flickering already it's just random like um, the optimization for the light flickering is always automatic which is something I really don't really like because sometimes it can think that it's uh, 60 Hertz lighting but even though it's, it's always 50 Hertz This will take a while for sure. Oh, we can see the beach ball already. Let's wait. You probably don't want to have this hot drive noises on your modern computer. 
But that's all I got for this. I mean, this shouldn't be my main laptop after all. I really like the music. Oh, it actually plays a lot. Extended. Let's see. Show all. I'll see. I wonder if there's Malaysia, but wow. <laughs> Continue. Do you already on? Yes, I. But I don't want to transfer. <laughs> So you asked me to select a keyboard layout, it's US English, this is a US keyboard by the way. Um, yeah, I haven't installed the airport card, the Wi-Fi card I don't install yet. So I just say my computer does not connect to the internet. Oh yeah, you need to register for this. It's kind of unnecessary, but I'll just write down. You know, Sonic, okay, I Sonic, Hacky, Labs. Uh, I'll just put a dash. <laughs> I don't know. Two hundred, two hundred two. Oh, uh, Green Hill. Uh, Mobius. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I was. This is me trying to actually fake for Mobius. I don't know. Nah, let's just say Central City. Uh, oops. <laughs> what? Uh, six six six. Uh, eight eight. Home. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, probably just save myself as a web designer. No, I do not want. Sonic Hockey without the dish. And I'll probably just don't I don't want a password. Yeah, I don't need one. Uh all the Mac OS they don't they don't require your password. Those old days, like you know. Register later. I don't Apple doesn't even want to care about users using this anymore. So now it's in no. Uh you was uh yeah Kuala Lumpur no I have to use the mouse this is probably the most this is probably like the most like annoying thing ever Jakarta I want to use select Kuala Lumpur no I can't uh I just use Singapore for now because the same all right so the end time um now it's um, eight to the three in my time zone. To the three. Oh. Okay, and then the today's date is twenty twenty. 
All right, wait. Uh, man. Um, now it's uh, April, and it's fifth of April. Okay, and we're gonna save it and continue. Yes, I don't. I have to register. Apple doesn't care about this. <laughs> All right, so probably this take a while. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> yes, no more. It's a completely clean install of macOS. Yes, Keybar is. Just... I thought I've told you that this is a. Uh... What? Why does it want to detect? Yeah, this hard drive is kind of slow. Like, I wouldn't expect some. Spectacular performance. This is a really old one. In fact, this hot drive is actually older than this iBook G for it, so But there you have it. I mean, I am already in 10.4 Tigers 10 10.4.3 And I'm going to upgrade this to 10.4.11 so I can actually have 10.4 Fox and some modern applications and as you can see this is a 933 megahertz. I think I have to stop that 933 megahertz power PC G4, 640 megabytes of DDR RAM. And I think the graphics some kind of ATI. There you go. Yep, it's a mobility Radeon 9200. I don't know if you can see that. And the I the I really want to get back to the internet on one of these, but well <laughs> Some other time. I think we're pretty much uh, done with installing macOS 10.4 Tiger on this computer. So I guess uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.